Cadillac we have over there. <laughs> International meetings, they fly those with me. You know what they call that car? They call it the Beast. When the armored vehicles of world leaders arrive, they command attention. But one presidential ride raised eyebrows far above the rest, until its astonishing secrets were revealed. During a state visit to the US, photos surfaced of China's president arriving in an unassuming black sedan. But this was no normal car. It was the stealthy Hongqi N701, packing heat like a spy mobile. Valued at over $250 million, the N701 is a rolling fortress so classified even the US president was shocked. Its defenses are enough to spark a global arms race, uncover the true might of China's clandestine presidential steed. Get ready to take a thrilling peek behind the curtain into the clandestine realm of the world's most formidable wheels, presidential vehicles. These aren't your everyday rides. They're straight out of high-octane spy movies, loaded with state-of-the-art tech and constructed like impregnable fortresses. They're not just about transporting the president from point A to point B. They're about doing it with unmatched safety and undeniable panache. Today, we're diving headfirst into the fascinating realm of presidential limousines, spanning from China to the United States, Turkey to France, and beyond. We'll unveil the awe-inspiring features that elevate these vehicles to the pinnacle of security and luxury. Let's kick off our adventure with a glimpse into the enigmatic world of China's president and his vehicle of choice, the Hongqi N701 Armored Limousine. This extraordinary ride has captured the imagination of many, and we're here to spill all the insider secrets. The Hongqi N701 is anything but ordinary. It's part of the exclusive sub-brand of Fa Hongqi, initially crafted for high-ranking Chinese Communist Party officials and the president's elite entourage. Taking its place among the prestigious L5, L7, and L9 models, the N701 exudes opulence and boasts unparalleled security features. This impressive set of wheels made its grand debut in 2022 during a summit in Hong Kong. Shortly after, it garnered attention when the General Secretary of the CCP utilized it for the G20 summit in Indonesia. Now, a couple of these remarkable cars formed the motorcade of the Chinese president in Russia. While this car may exude a mysterious aura, we've managed to uncover some intriguing tidbits. The N701 is a massive ride, stretching nearly 6 meters in length and boasting a width exceeding 2 meters. Its generous wheelbase of 3.5 meters provides a spacious interior, featuring a unique four-seat layout. The design of its central console has even drawn comparisons to the Russian Aris Senate. Now, let's delve into its power. Rumors swirled about a potent V8 or V12 engine lurking under the hood, but official details remained elusive. However, recent reports from a reputable Chinese publication shed light on the N701's powertrain surprise. It sports a 3-liter V6 engine generating 283 horsepower. But that's not all. It's also equipped with an electric motor, bringing the combined output of this hybrid system to a substantial 462 horsepower. While these numbers may not surpass certain other luxury vehicles like the RS Senate or the Rolls-Royce Phantom, it's worth noting that the chairman of the People's Republic of China has a unique taste. Production of the N701 is an exclusive affair, with only five cars assembled each year. The government has even placed an order for the next 10 years, guaranteeing a total production of 50 of these exceptional vehicles. So there you have it, a glimpse into the world of Chairman's Wheels. The Hongqi N701 blends mystery, luxury, and power, making it an intriguing ride for an influential leader. In other words, step into the world of President Joe Biden and his remarkable ride, the Cadillac 1, famously known as The Beast, or even Stagecoach. It's not just a car, it's a fortress on wheels, meticulously designed for maximum security and safety. While it may resemble a Cadillac CT6 sedan mixed with the style of an Escalade SUV on the outside, its true essence is revealed within, and it's packed with an impressive array of cutting-edge technologies. This vehicle, based on the S600 LWB, is far from your ordinary Mercedes. While it boasts a body reinforced with a titanium alloy, the doors take a step further with 13mm steel, practically invulnerable to heavy weapons. It's not just bulletproof, it's airtight, designed to withstand even chemical attacks. Communication is a top priority here. The onboard phone operates directly through a satellite link, ensuring that the Turkish president and the security team can contact anyone they need in times of danger. It's a vital lifeline in any security situation. Safety extends to the tires as well. 
They're fortified with steel cords, making them resistant to damage even if the rubber gets shredded. This means the S600 can keep moving under tough circumstances. Now, here's where things get intriguing. The Presidential S600 is equipped with ultra-bright headlights and illuminate a vast area, ensuring visibility in all conditions. But that's not all. Right next to those headlights, there's a tear gas installation. It's a unique feature designed to enhance security. All these enhancements for the head of state's vehicle come at a considerable cost, approximately 1 million Turkish lira to be precise. It's a price worth paying to ensure the safety and mobility of the President of Turkey. In the world of presidential cars, the Turkish S600 stands out as a symbol of security, power, and advanced technology. It's not just a mode of transportation. It's a fortress on wheels ready to protect and serve the leader of the nation. In 2017, Emmanuel Macron, newly elected as president of France, made a grand entrance at his inauguration ceremony in Pujol 5008, a car that continued to capture attention in French media. Now the intriguing part. The security specifications of these presidential vehicles are shrouded in secrecy for obvious reasons. However, what we do know is the Peugeot 5008, like its civilian counterparts, begins its journey at a factory in Rennes, before heading to Santagon, a company based in Brittany, for a transformation. This makeover involves outfitting the car with protective gear, including armor. Inside the presidential limousine, there's a twist. Instead of a three-seat sofa, you'll find two separate seats in the second row. French media reports suggest that President Macron has since upgraded to a new official vehicle, the DS7 Crossback Crossover, for which more information is available. The DS7 Crossback boasts a 200mm long wheelbase and is based on a hybrid version of the model. Under the hood, it features a 1.6-liter petrol turbo engine and a separate electric motor on the rear axle, delivering a combined power output of 300 horsepower. Safety isn't the only focus here. Comfort is paramount, too. The rear seats are individually and electrically adjustable, complete with heating and ventilation. A spacious central console sits between them, loaded with controls, document holders, phone chargers, and USB ports. Externally, the car maintains the classic dark blue color associated with French presidential vehicles. It rides on 20-inch wheels, and you'll notice foldable flagpoles on the front fenders, special signals behind the radiator grille, and numerous badges with the French tricolor and the letters RF. In the world of presidential cars, France has its own style and sophistication, blending security and elegance seamlessly. It's not just about getting from point A to point B, it's about representing a nation's heritage and values on the road. So which presidential limousine impressed you the most? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.